Hey, my name is Sean Bulbrook. I'm a solutions architect at Coecity. I'm going to quickly walk you through an automated whiteboard with a live demo at the end, which is going to illustrate how you can instantly spin up a gold copy of your production data on top of Coecity's self service test dev platform. We are a hyperconverged secondary platform where we take the workloads of backup and recovery, test dev, analytics, files, and objects, allow you to condense them down onto a single operating platform. In this demo, I'm going to show you how through our user interface, you use a very easy to click a clone icon. And from there, you enter in the name of the VM application database that you want to clone. We instantly up tier that to our SSD drives. We will automatically create a data store, present that out to your ESX host. This VM is instantly created. It's a no penalty clone, meaning it consumes no storage space, but externally, it looks like a fully hydrated index VM. From there, you can do your full test dev on top of this platform, and the cleanup is wonderful. A single teardown button, we're going to pull this out of your hypervisor, can pull this completely out of Cohesity. Although in this example, I'm showing VMware, it works the same across KVM, Acropolis, Hyper-V. And again, not just a single VM. What happens in those cases where we have an application where it may span 10, 20, 30 VMs? With our instant mass restore, we can instantly spin up multiple VMs in parallel. And again, the same process. Select the clone button, select the application you want to recover, will automatically up tier as many uh, VMs that are in this application, automatically present that out. Again, what you have is a fully hydrated index version of this entire application available for test dev. Let me show you a quick example of that with a live demo. This is my platform here. This is my Coecity platform. If I go into my main screen, and let me show you the backup jobs I've created. So I like to put them in application groupings, which means my entire exchange infrastructure goes in one backup job, my entire SAP infrastructure in another, my entire SharePoint in another. What that allows me to do is regardless of how many VMs I have, I'll take a consistent backup across all of them. Application consistent aware across all the databases, but one synchronized point in time backup across every single VM in the application. You can recover each VM independently for test dev, or I can bring up the entire SharePoint application. So let me show you this example. So I'm going to do uh, patch testing on my SharePoint environment. I just forced a backup. Once it's complete, now what I want to do is I want to spin this up for my test dev environment. So I go to my test dev tab, clone, type in the name of the application. So in this case, it's SharePoint. I don't even have to complete it. What's nice about this, again, our global catalog, we instantly find it. I not only found the backup job, but I found every single VM that was running internally inside of it, as you can see. And again, if I want to, I have the ability to go back to any point in time and recover. Each one is a fully hydrated index version. But for the sake of this demo, I'm basically showing you how I can spin up a VM uh, of a backup I just took a couple of minutes ago. So to complete this, I'm going to select the application, and this is where it gets interesting. I can rename it. So I'm going to rename all the VMs. It's going to be a patch test in my SharePoint environment. So I'll put patch and I'll put today's date so they're easily identifiable in my vCenter. I'm going to point it to my test dev environment. And again, see how easy it is just to be able to select these environments. And this is the view is nothing more than the NFS data store that we're automatically going to present out. So let me call this example 01 so we can see it easily. And learn how to spell. I can detach the network. I can attach to a new network. I can leave it connected if I want. I can leave the VMs powered on or powered off. And then I hit finish. So if I go to my vCenter, what's happening right away is we start seeing right away the NFS data store is created. And now we're starting to spin up on top of this environment. As you see, I renamed them. Instantly, what I'm being able to do then is We've created the data store within Coecity. We've up tiered all these VMs to our SSD drives, and now we're going through the process of registering that with your ESX host. If I walk through, I can see the data store I created, example 01, and the VMs one at a time. <clears throat> On average, it takes about 10 to 15 seconds per VM to stand up. So let me show you what this looks like from our Coecity dashboard. Let me show you the details of this clone operation. Again, each individual VM, I can take a look individually, see what's happening. This is where it says where I've renamed it. And although I've left it powered off, that was my option. I could have easily left it powered on. And it just walks through, and we're just almost complete here. I'll let it finish as it does the last VM. 
and what we've done when I refresh the screen is within 56 seconds, I was able to stand up my entire SharePoint environment. But I want to stop here for a second. Remember that I did a backup first and then I spun this up. So in about 60 seconds, I stood up my entire SharePoint environment on top of Cohesity, on top of data that's about two minutes old than for my production environment. And then when I'm done, all I need to do is go back to my Cohesity screen. When I'm done my patch testing, hit the teardown. And what it's going to do is it's going to go in there and clean the entire environment up. <clears throat> so I'll give you an example of what a client did probably a few weeks ago. Is they actually did in the middle of a Thursday afternoon an on-demand DR test where they spun up over 30 VMs running SQL AIX. It was a custom application. It took them over 20 minutes to stand up all the VMs and have their users point to it and be able to do this live DR test. And then when they were done, they hit a single teardown button. And anybody who's done a DR test knows the cleanup afterwards is, can be quite hefty of being able to tear down. In this case, it was a single teardown button. Within tear, 10 minutes, they were able to clean up the environment. And what you've seen here with Coesity as we finish off the last bit, is that ability, is just how easy it is to clean up the environment. Walking through, individually destroying each VM, we got one more to do. And again, on average, it takes about 10 to 15 seconds to destroy the VM. But again, very, very easily, I'll walk through the entire process as we've completed here. Let me refresh my screen. In 54 seconds, I tore down my VMware environment. It's completely disappeared from my ESX environment. The NFS data store is gone and we're back to normal again. So in 60 seconds, I was able to stand up my SharePoint environment within Cohesi, a completely isolated test dev environment, completely on demand self-service, and it was based on data that was about two minutes older than gold copy production. And that took me another minute to tear it down and completely pull it out of the environment. So I wanna thank you for taking the time and watching the demo today. And next week, I'm actually gonna do a live demo spinning up SQL uh, in Oracle within our test environments. Thank you very much.